But you, we've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2024 Boston Red Sox. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Nick Pavetta. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And now the veteran third baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. The wind and the pitch. Now it's belted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. What a start to this one. And it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. One, one pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Oh, so much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. Here comes Aaron Judge. And he grounds one back up the middle. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Looked to me like he got on the side of the ball a little too much right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And when you don't stay on top of the ball and really get out front and finish with a good release point, it's very easy to lose control of it to either side. And now it's Juan Soto. Swing it a foul straight back. Soto measures six feet two inches 225 pounds and he's a former home run derby champ. Left hand batter waits. Straighten him up a little bit. Up the middle. And it's through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Outfield playing very deep. Not wanting anything over their heads. Found back our way. And that's out of play. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Here's your one. And another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. First and second, no outs. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Next offering is in for a strike. pitch grounder might be two to second and it pulls the shortstop off the bag Zach Kelly takes over on the mound really tough spot to come into out of the bullpen bases loaded with multiple outs to get in a tight ball game a lot can happen right here And here is Anthony Rizzo. Golden opportunity right here. Mm -hmm. 
On the ground to first. And it gets by him. One runs in. And he beats it. He's safe. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. First and second, no outs. Here is Glaber Torres. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Wouldn't chase that time. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Swing and a miss. And the throw, he's out at third. Rizzo, the runner at second with one away. Mind, and that's a base hit. Headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark and he scores. And it's 4 0. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. Man at first with one gone. Here's Alex Verdugo. That missed inside. Ball one. the pitch that misses the zone two balls no strikes and that one is inside and a pitch And there's a foul ball. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. The pitch. Foul ball and it remains a full count. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. That one ripped. That's back there. And caught on the warning track. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Two outs. And ball one. And that one hammered. That's back there. And it bangs off the top of the wall. Torres coming home. He will score, and the lead is up to five. Play at the plate, and he's out. He tried for the inside, the Parker, and he couldn't make it. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. But they take the lead thanks to a five-run outburst. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Yankees five. Sox coming up. Back here with my pal Siggy. Getting the nod in this one, Carlos Rodon. What should we keep an eye on here? 
Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jaron Duran. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Rodon ready. Here it comes. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Makes the grab one down. Check out the Red Sox lineup. Singy, they got their work cut out for them down a busload already in this one. And a manager does not want to see his hitters going to the plate swinging like it's a home run derby. He wants hitters to put together quality at bats play the game that you've been playing and that you've been taught to play with this organization and go out there and move the line if you do that you're going to score some runs maybe you don't win this ball game but at least you have some momentum to carry into the next one that misses and it's two and oh And another ball just a few pitches in but not very sharp on the mound in the home half of the first but when you can score some runs for your pitcher in that first inning you really want him to come out and shut that other team down so you guys can get back in the dugout and swing the bats you've obviously got some hot sticks in the early part of this one next offering is in for a strike. Foul ball left side he'll see another. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Judge sizes this one up. Pulls it in for the out. That's out number two. That is good. The first base. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. The one two deep drive down the line foul ball a little tardy on that fastball is going to have to get it going a little quicker get that front foot down here's a high chopper tosses to first and that will end the inning Red Sox go down one two three still looking at that five nothing deficit. Second inning set to go and here is Austin Wells. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Just missed. That one is blasted left field towards the monster. Drops for a hit he couldn't run it down and that's a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. He's already homered here in this one. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 7-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back.
that home run was a no doubter as we dive into the numbers with StatCast. Crushed. Boo. Just absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo and like you said no doubt about that one plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well and now on the bump Joe Jakes well they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it it's Aaron Judge now he has as they like to say let me guess Boog light tower power that's right just missed Judge enjoyed success at the major league level right away. He hit 52 home runs as a rookie, breaking Mark McGuire's record, and became the first Yankee to win Rookie of the Year since some guy named Derek Cheater. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. Judge out on the play. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Juan Soto now. Part of the order coming through now. And with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Next offering upstairs. Kicks and fires. That one almost got him. The Yankees up big in this one here at the top of the second. Next offering is in for a strike. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Gets a piece and stays alive. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. And now the lefty, and that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. One down, base is empty. Up the middle. Story sends it over to first. He didn't make things easy for him there, but they still get the out. Two outs, space is empty. Here's a big power threat. Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. In for a strike, it's 0 and 1. That's a little bit low. Two outs, space is empty. A little out front there as he swings through it. One ball, two Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. Catcher has it, fires the first. That completes the strikeout inning over. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now 7-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back here at Fenway Park, bottom of the second. And now the DH, Masataka Yoshida. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. The pitch. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. Close but called a ball. 
Now one and two. And he deals. In the air, center field. Judge makes the play. One up, one down. Batting fifth. The shortstop. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. In for a strike. 0 oh and 2. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way. And this is what this guy does. Here's the rookie right fielder, Willier Abreu. Fastball for a strike. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss there. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Kicks and deals. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. That one inside. Three and two down. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. And we're back. Top half of the third inning. And the batter now, Anthony Rizzo. The wind of the pitch. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second, in safely. It's a double, and his second hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here comes Glaber Torres. Singled and scored his first time. Foul ball. You know, these Yankees putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They jumped all over the starter and knocked him out of the game early. He just was never able to settle in, and the damage was done by the time he got the hook. Battling here as he fouls it away. I mean, when you're chasing the opposing starter in the first inning or two, that's just such a tone setter for the game. And it puts the other team back on their heels, and it instills a lot of confidence in your lineup from top to bottom. Just off the outside part of the plate. Not even close there. Two balls, two strikes. 
Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Well, you could tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft, but that slider on the inside corner absolutely froze him. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. Fly to left his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Here comes a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Two and oh. at the belt and fires that clips the corner in today's game not that many fastball counts but hitters still in the back of their minds they're looking for one 2 0 change up call right there excellent pitch selection to go with left hand batter waits misses just off the outside edge I think that was a strike. Right field down the line and that one slices foul. Man at second. Bounce to the left side. Story zips it across and Verdugo is set down. The bat number 11. Short time. Anthony Volpe. And up next for New York, Anthony Volpe. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. That misses off the outside edge. Swings and sends a rocket to right. And it gets by him. Rizzo on his horse around third. One run across around second now as they still don't have it. Volpe around third. He'll score. Two runs are in. It's 9 nothing. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for a reason, Boog. Always fun to see an inside the parker. And, man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting a second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's his great hustle from start to finish. Now the catcher up to hit Austin Wells and first offering is fouled off two down nobody on foul ball there. And a pitch. On the ground, right side, and it's through for a hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And now it's D.J. LeMayhew digging in. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Wells off of first with two away. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and one. Two outs. That one hammered center field. Duran going back. Caught just shy of the wall. They put two on the board on three hits, including the home run. No errors and one left on. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. 
The Yankees nine and the Red Sox nine. Back here at Fenway, here's Tyler O'Neill. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Fought off foul. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Vaughn Grissom in now. Takes ball one off the plate. One down, base is empty. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. The wind of the pitch. And it is two and one. The Red Sox with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of the third. That misses, and the count is three and one. And he walked him. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Connor Wong at the plate and takes high there. That one misses. That's five straight. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. And ball four to a board. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Now batting Jaron Duran. Fly to right his first time. And that one is lifted in the air. Soto going after it. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags at second, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. Just missed. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. One ball, two strikes. Rodon sets and deals. Swing and a bouncer. Torres gathers and throws to first. And Devers is set down. That ends the frame. Boston strands a pair. Steep hill to climb. It's a 9-0 deficit. Start of the fourth. And the batter now, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. Judge, 31 years old, and he's a former Rookie of the Year. Pitches in for a strike, going one. And a good eye there. Ball to strike. Good eye right there. Two balls, one strike. Not close with that one. 
And that's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That one hammer, but pulled foul. The pitch. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. So a man aboard. Now it's the right fielder, Juan Soto, one for two. That one fouled off. That's a strike. And a count is 0-2. Two. two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Hard right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Stanton stands in now and watches strike one. First and second, no outs. Top half of inning number four. The 0-2. And that one is inside ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. to swing and a miss. Now one away. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Judge over at second. Soto at first. One gone. In there at the knees for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So first and second with two outs. And next for New York, Glaber Torres. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Abreu makes the play, and it's out number three. Yanks strand a pair, but they're still in command. Nine nothing. Back now at Fenway, ready to go, bottom four. And now the first baseman, Tristan Casas. And the pitch. Just off the outside edge, and that's ball one. And another ball. The lefty fires. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. And they'll do it again. The pitch. On the ground to first. And foul ball. The pitch. Up and in. Full count now. And down on strikes. 
He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Masataka Yoshida. And first offering is fouled off. Top of the zone for a called strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. And that's in the dirt. The Red Sox still looking for their first hit in this one. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. That was loud contact and a no doubt double off the bat. I didn't know it was going to land in the bullpen, though, and he's really improving his accuracy out there. It's almost like he tried to do it. And it's second with one away. Trevor Story will hit next. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. In the air, left field down the line. Verdugo makes a nice running catch. Just pulled now off of it a little bit right you. there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. Oh, if he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Abreu batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Ball one there. Swing and a miss. One and two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. This one in the air center field. Sizing this one up. Squeezes it. That is the inning. And the Red Sox leave one. And they're down 9 nothing. We're back. And there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Greg Weiser. Gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. And stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. The pitch. Ripped on a line to center. And Verdugo is set down. One away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Volpe, the next to hit, takes ball one. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Brennan Bernardino up and loosening in the pen. Righty to the plate. Ball in. The Yanks up big in this one. And we're at the top of the fifth. In the air, out towards right center. Sizes this one up. Two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. Ball 
There's the strike 95 of that one. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. And the 0 1. And a foul ball. Lifted in the air down the left side, and it falls. And that extends the inning. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Here's D.J. LeMayhew. First offering, and it just misses. To third. And that is that. The Yanks leave one, but they still hold a 9-0 lead. Back here at Fenway Park. Now here is Tyler O'Neill. Rodon back to work. That one not close. And that's ball one. You know, these Red Sox just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. With just one hit in the game, they're clearly frustrated and searching for answers at this point. Grounder off the pitcher. Safe at first, and now we'll check on the lefty. Hope he's all right. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Man at first. Now it's the second baseman, Vaughn Grissom. Thing about frustration, though, it gets you nowhere as a hitter. It's easy to get there, but the best thing you can do is simplify the approach and take things one pitch at a time. And that's in for a strike. O'Neal on at first. Nobody out. Got it by him for the K. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Wong in the box now. No balls and a strike. The Yankees with some action in their pen. Luke Weaver getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. That one drilled left field, and now maybe extra bases. O'Neill on his way to third. Not in time. He's safe. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Back to the top of the lineup, and now the center fielder, Jaron Duran. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All ones the count. Just off the inside edge. Swing and a miss. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. That one just misses. And the count's even at two. It's a good take. Rodon fires. Swing and a pop-up. Torres under it. Drops into the glove. And there's two down. 
Now batting, third baseman, Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers up to him. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. That missed by a lot. And it's one to know. One on count. Look for him to be aggressive here. He got some runners on base, an opportunity to catch a mistake and put some runs up on the board. That misses. Ball two. Two outs, two in scoring position. Last half of inning number five. And Devers hits that one. Judge has it sized up. Makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Top six. And now Aaron Judge. Number 99. Aaron Judge. And a pitch. Down the left field line, base hit. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second, and he'll pull into second safely. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Here's Juan Soto. Now that's smack to right center. Tracks it down for the out. Runner tags it second. Throw is high and over his head. Up next for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And that's in there for strike one. The Yankees up big in this one. And we're in the top half of the sixth. That one missed. And that's off the inside edge. And it's two and one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And the righty deals. That to right. On the move. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across, and it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. Two outs, base is empty. Anthony Rizzo getting ready to hit. Right through there for a strike. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Left-hand hitter waits. Wouldn't chase that time. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. O'Neill going back on it. Leaps at the wall but can't haul it in. In safely with a double. His second of the day. Now that second base. So two down. Labor Torres up to the plate. One for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one.
There's the strike of the knees. And that one fouled off. Rizzo at second with two down. Two outs. Out towards right center field. Abreu under it and makes the grab. And that is that. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Heart of the order. 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Yankees 10 and the Red Sox nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now batting Tristan Casas. The first baseman. The line to kick the pitch. That one finds the corner. 0-1. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball. Excellent. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. A massive home run. And they're on the board. It's 10-1. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Just missed. And now the lefty. And that is in for a strike. And the count one and one. That one pushed foul. And that's outside. Now two and two. Nobody on, nobody out. Here in the bottom of the sixth. In the air to left center. That gets down for a hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Righty reliever out of the pen, Luke Weaver. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. So man aboard, here's Trevor Story. There's the strike. All ones the count. Rudder at first with no outs here. And it's fouled away. Right hander kicks deals. Ball. And there's a ball. One ball, two strikes. Down. Now fly ball to right center. Soto gets under it. Soto makes the play. The batter, the right fielder, Willier Abreu. Willier Abreu, the next to hit. And 
and ball one to the right fielder. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Ian Hamilton getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. The 1 0. Late on that fastball. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. Kicks and fires. Ball that time. Man at first, one away. Right handed reliever got him swinging. He chased the changeup out number two. Up next for the Red Sox. Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. That one ripped right center field. That's back. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. I think he's having some mixed emotions down there at second base, and I wouldn't blame him for being a little frustrated with the ball hopping over the wall. I mean, that at bat was good enough to produce a run, but instead the automatic double halts the lead runner at third, and just sort of a bittersweet at bat. So two on with two away. And now Vaughn Grissom just missed. And a pitch. Ball that just wrong. Fastball for a strike. Two outs, two in scoring position. Bounce to third. Throw on to Rizzo inning over and it could have been worse but a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability and this is now a 10-1 ball game welcome back we're in the seventh we have a new pitcher on the mound Brennan Bernardino I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Alex Verdugo. The pitch. Verdugo leading things off and takes a strike. Boston's bullpen with some activity. A right-hander is up and throwing. Bernardino measures six feet four inches 180 pounds and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers going to now and delivers outside I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0 2 count just tried to overthrow that pitch. And another ball. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Wouldn't chase that time. Hit hard, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. 
just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an end. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So up next, Anthony Volpe. He swings and fouls one off. Here comes a pitch. It's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. No, I can't argue with that one. And clearly he was looking for something else. Anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it. And kind of a gift at a two strike count. But sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Wells the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone right there swinging at that pitch that's a no no next offering in there for a strike that is strike two Verdugo over at first with one away that's off the mark it's a ball and two strikes and that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Bounced up the middle. A dive. He's got it. The throw. It's there. And that's a great play. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop. Completes the play. And that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. Weaver back to work. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Next pitch is outside. And he takes a strike. Fouls it off, still one and two. And he deals. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Next to hit, Jaron Duran. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. In the air, right side. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Pulls into third safely with a triple. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Runner at third with one gone. And next for the Red Sox, Rafael Devers. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. First pitch misses.
Righty delivers. Runner on at third, one gone. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. One and two here. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Kicks and deals. Fights it off. You'll see another. That one off the mark. Two and two. One away with a runner at third. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And that's outside. Three balls, two strikes. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. In to score is the runner from third, and it's now 10-2. Well done. Drives in the run. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and... Even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. One down. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. He's already homered in this game. Fastball for a strike. One run across in the frame so far. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Oh, trouble with the fastball, and it gets away from him. And now, a man into scoring position. This is something that'll happen to him from time to time behind the dish. Uh, the defense is a part of his game he's trying to improve, but right there, just couldn't squeeze it, and it cost him. Swing it a foul straight back. Man at second. Got him looking. Two gone. Well, he froze him with the change up right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. And a foul ball. Oh, one now. Two, one. In the dirt. And the runner holds. Man on second, two down. And that's downstairs and outside. On the ground, Volpe. On to first, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Yankees 10 and the Red Sox 2. Back here in Boston, we're at the top of the eighth, and stepping in for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone.
And here comes an 0-2 to Judge. And ball one. 0-2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Caught him looking for the K. Now batting. Right and now the right fielder, Juan Soto. There's a line drive to left field. O'Neill snags it for the second out. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. And the first offering is not close. Just off the inside edge. the two one hey. stays alive two down nobody on and we're in the top of the eighth and that's outside and the counts full Swing and a high fly ball to left. O'Neill makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back inside Fenway Park, out of the bottom of the eighth. Here's Trevor Story now. And the pitch. And downstairs, double-barreled action in the bullpen. Tommy Canely, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Gonzalez, the power lefty, up as well. And the 1-0. Right, right through there for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And here it comes. And it's even up. That one missed. Three balls, two strikes to count. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Abreu at the plate now. That's ball one. Missed with a changeup, and the count is 2 0. Oh. The pitch. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2 and 1.
One down, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Verdugo snags it. Two away down. Now batting left fielder Tyler. Now the left fielder Tyler O'Neill. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one back. That's down. One hops off the wall. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Putting some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Man at second here with two away. Now, Vaughn Grissom. That's outside. Ball one. O'Neal stands at second with two gone. That one close ruled a ball. And now 2 and 0. Oh. And that's in for a strike. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Three and one now. And the right hander deals. Inside ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So first and second with two outs. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. First pitch, and he just misses. And another ball. And a pitch. And that one is inside. The Yanks up big in this one. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And a four-pitch walk. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid-'80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Verdugo makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Red Sox leave them loaded and the deficit stays at eight. It's 10-2. All set for the start of the inning. Leading off, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. The pitch. And a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. One ball, one strike. Wouldn't chase that time. That one misses. Three and one. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. 
And he's got a double, his fourth hit. Boog, I know you love the slug. Well, the slugging percentage is on the rise in this one. That's his third extra base hit of the game. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So, a man aboard, Glaber Torres, stepping in now for the Yankees. Ground ball to the right side, and that's just foul. No outs, runner on second. Sliced hard, but foul. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Here's the 0-2. And yeah, that's outside. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here at the top of the ninth. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Outside low, two and two. Swung on, belted. Duran going back. And it hits the fence. Runner from second crosses the plate. And it's 11-2. Cut off, throw to third. He's in there. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out. But he got the job done right there. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. No outs, runner over at third. And that one fouled off. That's down and in. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Now all lead it up. Bounce to the right side. It's in and out of his glove. Throw to first for the out as the run comes in from third. And up next for New York, Anthony Volpe. The shortstop takes the ball. That one misses. Two balls, no strikes. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Here's a 2-1. Hit hard on the ground to short. Jump throw. Awesome play there. Number 63 gets the call from the pen. He's into the game with the bases empty. Right 
Two outs, base is empty. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Rip to right, base hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That Tried one. to get inside on him, but he was ready for it. Just kept his hands in and turned on the pitch. Quick bat through the zone. Back to the top of the Yankee order. D.J. LeMayhew stepping in now for the Yankees. And first offering is fouled off. And ball one to LeMayhew. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Chris Martin getting ready to go. Two outs. That one's in there. And the count one and two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Next offering is down low. And another ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Aaron Judge. On deck for the Yankees. And a pitch. He goes down looking. They get two runs on three hits. No errors and one left. Two, three, four set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. Yankees 12 and the Red Sox 2. So bottom of the ninth, and here is Devers. Here comes a pitch. And a strike to Devers. This to center field. Verdugo ranging after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. The first baseman, Tristan. And now the first baseman, Tristan Casas. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. One down, base is empty. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Last out for the Red Sox in this one. Now it's the DH, Masataka Yoshida. There's a strike. The Red Sox, with a lot of ground to make up, we're in the last half of the ninth inning. Fouled off to the right. Weaver is just one strike away. Got him. And that is the ball game. Well, this team was ready from the first pitch of the ball game. Swinging the bats, scoring runs, just very aggressive. I feel like they set the tone, and that tone created a momentum that took them all the way to the finish line. Nice win today. And your final 12-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
out of the ball game. 